good chance of getting the right sound. You know, we're coming back, we'll find the entry. Right in through here, there'll be a little loop that'll come on up just a little bit and use for wax testing right here. But what a day to be up here. Yeah. <laughs> the, the lowest point on the competitive loop is at 1,100 feet, and 1,000 feet is a good break point because I'll see at the low end of my property, which is about 960 feet, softer conditions than up higher. So we've just walked the terrain where the trails will be, the ski trails, and it's just awesome. Um, great view of, you can see Cook Inlet, uh, all the mountains on the Chugach Range. Um, it's just absolutely um, um, beautiful and it's a great opportunity and um, really excited to get um, our citizens out there to, to able to use, be part of nature. I mean, not only is it looks like a lot of fun, it'd be a nice economic engine, a huge asset for our residents and also too for our local business. We hope to have a world-class Nordic system in place, similar to what they have at Kincaid Park and Anchors, but more on the Alpine. It's above a thousand feet, so when we have those winters, and El Nino winters, when we get rains and warm storms and it wipes out all our snow, we'll be able to come up here and still go skiing. I'm looking forward to skiing on them. At the parking lot area, you can see behind me, the, one of the contractors is, um, is grading and compacting the, soil, the gravel that's being brought up from below the area we, uh, we were at earlier. And um, this is sort of the south end of the parking lot here. And uh, there's enough room here, I believe, for about 140 parking spaces. And, um, and it's directly adjacent here to our stadium area. Um, where the, all of our ski races, high school ski races, will start and finish. This, uh, and if you look in this direction, you can kind of see down at the bottom of this hill is where eventually the starting area will be. It's about halfway complete, the construction is. Uh, the racers will go up the hill there to where the trail disappears, turns to the right. Uh, that's the Matanuska Loop, and it goes for about a, about a mile and a half and ties into the Susitna Loop, which is further to the west. Uh, before coming back into the stadium area, there's a bypass trail around that side of the stadium area, comes up on this, on this uh, little ridge that we're standing on, makes another loop, and then it comes back down into our, uh, over this little, this little crest of a hill and into the finish line. So it should be a pretty exciting place to, uh, to watch uh, high school ski races. Well, here we are on one of the three loop of ski trail that are being constructed this summer. Trail will start up there to the north and come down here along the edge of this ridge and kind of meander through the trees that way and head back up into the, the parking area. And uh, as you can see, there's nice views here of the uh, Pioneer Ridge and Kinnick Glacier. And it's especially open in the winter time when the leaves come off. So we're really looking forward to skiing this trail next winter. It's great. I think the project turned out uh, a lot better than we had anticipated. Um, uh, working hand in hand with uh, people from the borough and having a little guidance. I mean, I, I think actually it's turned out to be a, a very nice, very nice project. Initially, when um, we were looking over the area, just walking around and trying to, we didn't have very good base mapping, so I had to pretty much just ground truth it, and I walked the area quite a bit. And uh, with a GPS, found all the really unique the locations, the little stream crossings and the ridge tops and the views and whatnot that I really thought were spectacular and then the recreational venue that I put together um, tried to connect all those points together with a trail so as you ski around the trail or use it in the summertime you'll find all these nice viewpoints. There is I think 13 bridges on site here. Um, 
There's some nice vantage points. There's great views of the mountain range. Um, you've got a beginner's loop, an intermediate loop here, and an advanced loop for the skiers. So I think there's a little bit for everybody. We built some uh, world-class Nordic skiing trails. 